donate money to try out a new system. WRAL's Monica Casey shows us how it could work. Experts tell me involuntary commitments take time, can be traumatic, and are sometimes not necessary. This new program will meet people where they are and create a more gentle process. We understand that most often everyone in that situation is in need of support, and that's what we're here for. Jessica Lobby is a shift supervisor in Durham's Community Safety Department. She's also a certified first commitment evaluator for the state. Lobby tells me moving a first exam into the field rather than automatic transport to a hospital or facility benefits everyone. Being able to speak with neighbors where they are and literally meet them where they are, um, is will just be so good uh, for for our neighbors as often as possible. Last year, Durham police conducted nearly 1,000 involuntary commitment calls for service. That amounted to over 1,400 hours of response time. Community Safety Department Director Ryan Smith tells me an unnecessary transport can do harm. This new process could eliminate that. This will be taking that first exam, moving it into the field with the, the hope that if someone doesn't meet that criteria, that we can avoid a transport to a hospital. If they do meet the criteria, then we can perhaps improve the experience by providing you know, better understanding to those on the scene about like what, how this is going to go, this is the process. Smith tells me this new process could roll out this spring. He says law enforcement will still respond to these calls as well. In Durham, Monica Casey, WREL News.